hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a crypto challenge. The name is RSA is easy, it has no description and it's from the HackDM CTF. So uh, we get given a, a zip file and if we go into that zip we get given two files uh, c and rsa.py. Now the c file contains a public key so this would be an e and an n and then we also have an encrypted flag which if you look closely is an array of very large numbers. Then we get also get given a um, rsa.py file um, which contains a couple of functions, a very obscure one, one to generate keys that also calls this obscure one, an, an fun a function for encryption, a function for decryption, uh, and then what the actual uh, program does it is it finds a P and a Q uh, which are random and not reversible uh, to my knowledge. Um, it then generates a, a key from those to um, from those that P and Q and then using that public key it's going to encrypt a flag. Now let's see let's take a closer look at this encryption um, function. So uh, our P is our plain text and it's going to loop through every character of our P. And it's going to do this uh, expression on it, on that character, and uh, that's going to be a part of the cipher. So that pretty much says that each one of these long number numbers is going to be equal to a character of our plain, fla plain text flag. Um, now, uh, from this expression, what do we know? We know the result, because that's, that's this. We know the E, because we get given the key. We know the N, because that's also a part of the key. And the only thing we don't know is a character. But since this character is only one character, there's only 80 or so options that are possible. So that's very easily brute forceable. And that's exactly what I did. I wrote a little script that's going to do all of that. So it's going to find us a flag. We get our uh, givens, E, N, and our uh, array of encrypted characters. Um, and then it's going to loop through all of these and for each one of these It's going to loop through all the printable characters So all the possible characters that this could be and then it's going to compare them um, It's going to do this expression on them and compare them to our encrypted character Now if these match then that means that that character was a part of the flag. So we add it to the flag so From there all we have to do is run our program. So it's Python uh, solve.py and we get our flag in our command line and that was it for this video um, for this challenge I really enjoyed this challenge it really didn't uh, it isn't like a normal RSA challenge it's not what you expect with an RSA challenge but it was very fun uh, either way so I hope you enjoyed it as well and I'll see you back in another one